hey guys welcome back to my channel it's adrian again so i'm back with another video today i'm doing a review on this kenya moore hair care line i'm starting off with some old nasty dusty hair that's been uh you know in a bun for two weeks so i went ahead and uh, wet my hair so i'm just going to go ahead and divide my hair into sections um i just recently started shampooing my hair in sections and i like to do that it just keeps my hair more manageable so I'm going go with the Kenya Moore Hair Care Growth Repair Shampoo. It smells really, really well. This is the consist consistency of it. It's pretty, it's not very, it's not very thick, but it's, it's pretty runny, but um, it's really creamy as far as when it comes down to uh, lathering up of my hair. I did go back in with some more to get it to lather a little bit, to get it to lather a little bit more, um, as you can see in here. But I actually really like the shampoo a lot. I did pay full price for this shampoo. This was not on sale at the, uh, during the Sally's, um, the Sally sale. So I would purchase it again and pay full price for it. I, it is a little bit expensive, but honestly, all natural hair products is, is expensive. But what's good about this, about her hair care line, is that it's not just geared for natural hair. It, she doesn't target natural hair. She doesn't target relaxed hair. As you guys know, her hair is relaxed. But um, it did good in my natural hair. I really did like this shampoo again, and I will be using it in today's wash once again. All right, so as I'm rinsing my hair out, the um, the shampoo, you know, rinsed out very well. My hair, again, did not feel stripped at all. I really like this shampoo a lot. Um, it has a lot of good products inside of it, as far as, I'm sorry, a lot of good ingredients inside of it. Um, it has over 90% derived, featuring argan, amula, and manoi oils. Um, and I felt it, my, my hair still really did feel moisturized. Excuse my alarm system, but yeah, my hair did feel moisturized after um, after rinsing it out. Like I did not feel like my hair didn't feel very stripped at all. It felt like it was clean, but it still felt soft. So now I'm gonna go in with the growth and repair conditioner. This one claims that um, and ju after just one use, your hair will be stronger, longer, thicker. Um, hair and your you will have longer, thicker. Wait, let me read this right. For 95% stronger, longer, thicker hair in just one use is what it claims on the front of the bottle. Um, I put this on my hair. I, you know, I use it quite a bit because I have super thick hair. So I put this on my hair and let this sit um, for about a good 10, 15 minutes. Well, about 10 minutes I let it. No, not even that long. Maybe five minutes before I actually started detangling my hair. And I didn't find that it was that hard to to detangle my hair. It did have a good amount of slip. As you can see here, I started by finger detangling my hair. Um, and it did a pretty good job while doing that. But I felt like I needed to use a lot. Oh, and I went ahead and did a dance break ay, ay, while my hair sat. All right, so back to here. I'm sorry, y'all. My alarm keeps going off while I'm doing this voiceover. Um, but yeah, this is me as I am detangling my hair. It uh, it worked really well with the tangle in my hair, but I'm not gonna even lie to you. There's other conditioners out there that's a much cheaper price that does a better job as far as um, detangling. So my hair did feel, you know, moisturized after doing it, but it didn't have the best slip ever. So this is my hair after I detangled my whole head. And of course, you know, my curls look really good and juicy and moisturized. And this is all the hair that came out. I am three months postpartum, so this is postpartum shedding. This is, I'm, I'm finally experiencing it. She just turned three months, so I'm not too happy about it. But I knew it was coming. It had nothing to do with the products. This is just, it's just that time for my hair to actually, you know, shed. 
So here I'm just rinsing my hair out and my hair felt really good after rinsing it out. It was really, really soft, really, really buttery. I actually loved the way my hair felt with the conditioner. So yeah. All right, now it's time for me to go in with the deep conditioner. This deep conditioner was the best out of the whole line. I, I'm not gonna even lie, I really like, really, really like the deep conditioner. As you can see how thick it was, um, I went ahead and started, as always, on my ends because it's the oldest part of my hair and I want that to get the most and sit the longest. So I start on the ends and working my way up and this conditioner literally melted into my hair. Like it was, one. now this is like gonna be my top fave. I'm not gonna even lie to you about this. I wouldn't lie anyway, but still, the deep conditioner is just really, really good. I liked it a lot. To me, it was the, my favorite out of the whole line. Um, if she came out with some styling products, of course, I would try those as well. To say it, that this is her first time trying it, I think she, I mean, doing, you know, a hair kind of line, I think she did a great job. Um, I don't hear anybody talk about it, and I think it's completely underrated. And I really do think that it was, that it's really good. I like the, I like the hairstyle, the hair products a lot. So as I'm rinsing the, the conditioner out, my hair feels so, so good. I would recommend all three of these to anybody. Um, to me, like I said, they're a little pricey, like $14.99, $16.99, but in the natural hair community, that's about how much the going price of like the main choice and other prestige brands. So it's normal, but yeah. This is my hair after everything is rinsed out. I, my curls are beautiful, I'm happy, and I definitely give this product two thumbs up. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.